Hello everyone, welcome back to another session of Dark Souls PvP and another weapon showcase. This time I am using the claws and yes I am dual wielding them this time around. I got some complaints in that last little clip with me using them that I wasn't dual wielding them. I'm not going to say any names, casual toad, but anyway. Um, let's see. So, dual wielding claws. This was really very fun. It's something that people, when they usually... When they use claws, they usually dual wield them. It's just something I've sort of noticed, but eh, there's really nothing too special about it. It's just another dual wielding combination, in my opinion. But anyway, getting started with the weapon itself. The claws are very light. They weigh one unit each, so since I'm dual wielding them here, I've got two units of weight for my weapons. Not bad at all. They also, they've got an A scaling in dexterity and an E scaling in strength, so it's not much for strength, but there's a little bit there. Now, the way I'm using the claws, I'm using them with the Leo Ring. Now, those rolling attacks, they do in fact count as Leo Ring counterattacks, so you'll be able to see that a few times throughout the video. I don't know exactly when the next one is, but you'll see them if you pay attention to it. Um, a little bit later on in the video, I'll actually put on a Hornet Ring for one fight. But I actually have a reason. It's actually this fight right here. I put the Hornet Ring on after I parry him the first time. Um, just because, and I'm sorry if you can hear my dog barking in the background. Just because, I mean, Sunlight Blade, Rapier, Poke, Poke, Turtley, Poke. I, I didn't feel like losing and I didn't feel like giving him an easy fight. So I decided, okay, well, I'm just going to put on the Hornet Ring. And it actually led me to think. Using the Hornet Ring with the Claws is actually the most dangerous way to use them, and it makes them one of the more dangerous weapons that you can use with the Hornet Ring. And the, the reason why I'll say that is not because they're going to one-shot you, but because they're going to build up 99 bleed with one parry, if you're wearing the Hornet Ring. That's ridiculous. That is a massive amount of bleed. That is well over half of my bleed meter if someone did that to me. So... That's just something to keep in mind. It really is a lot of bleed to build up in a single parry, and, I mean, the chances of bleeding someone out with that, especially if you've hit them a few times before in the fight, they're pretty high. I mean, as if hitting with, uh, as if getting a parry with the Hornet Ring wasn't bad enough, right? You can build up a lot of bleed. So, anyway. Um, let's see, the pros and the cons of the weapon, I would have to say the biggest pro of the weapon would be its rolling attacks and the fact that they work with the Leo Ring. Now, we all know I like my Leo Ring counterattacks, we all know I like those, but the fact that these attacks, they roll in so quickly, you can, like, roll back out away from them and then use that to roll in forward and get them for a counter, it works really well and it's pretty much a guaranteed counterattack if you do it like that. Um, also, the jumping attacks do count as a uh, counterattack as well. I believe I got that in one of the last fights. I hit almost 500 damage on a jumping attack. That's pretty impressive for claws. And if I could bleed the guy out too on one of those, well, that'd be a relatively quick fight. But anyway, let's see. That would be the biggest pro. Now, other pros would be the fact that they've got some pretty good bleed. They work incredibly well with the Hornet Ring as far as building up your bleed and doing a decent amount of damage. Um, downside to the claws, they're short. They're really short. And that's kind of why I'm thinking a lot of people don't use them more often. Just because, well, you know, they're short. Uh, right there, that was a Leo Ring counterattack for 160, I believe. It's so low just because he's wearing Havels and he's a very high level. Um, I had originally, and I do have to apologize to this guy, I had originally thought he was using a piece of hacked Havels, a piece of protector name, but I'm wrong. It's just because he's such an incredibly high level that the attacks were doing less than they were against the Havel from one of the fights earlier. So, sorry dude, I was wrong. Uh, anyway, so the biggest con would definitely be the short range. Other cons would be the fact that they don't do that high damage regularly, but you can make up for that if you're good with your parries and you get a lot of people with them and you can bleed them out fast and blah blah blah, so on and so forth. So, let's see. There are two fights left, one minute left. Um. That pretty much sums up the claws. They're kind of a straightforward weapon. They work well with the Leo Ring, they work well with the Hornet Ring. 
and uh, this guy right here. I mean, he was praising the sun, and I gave him a wave, and he came and backstabbed me, so Hornet Ring. Why not, right? If he's gonna play like that, then sure. And right there, got him with a little bit of bleed, and moving on to the next, last fight. So to quickly recap, biggest pro, definitely the Leo Ring ability with the claws, biggest con, definitely the short range. There's that almost 500 damage hit that I was telling you guys about. Um, one unit each, as far as the weight, and um, A scaling and dexterity. That's pretty much all I gotta say on these things. Relatively straightforward, fun weapons, I recommend trying them out, so that's that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time.